Hey everyone. So did you guys even know that WotC, Wizards of the Coast, made a Simpsons trading card game back in 2003? I didn't know this, uh, but I found it by accident on eBay and uh, thought it might be worth checking out. Uh, I actually scored a full sealed box of this, uh, which I'm going to keep sealed because um, it seems like some of these kind of older novelty things seem to kind of creep up over time. But I did want to get a few loose packs from some different sellers uh, and check out the game itself and see if it was any fun. Uh, you know what I mean? Krusty the Clown, Sideshow Bob. Love it. I'm a big Simpsons fan, or at least big enough to know uh, about it. And I uh, haven't watched it in many years, actually. And uh, maybe the card game's fun. And apparently there are foils. That's pretty cool. Rainier Wolf Castle, the celebrity idiot foil version this is great the film is just me in front of a brick wall for an hour and a half it costs 80 million dollars yeah love the simpsons love the humor that's great so i don't know um really how to play this game um the traits is a celebrity idiot so that's some kind of gameplay mechanic got bobo traits old upstanding oddball animal so i guess celebrity and idiot are the traits what do you do with these? And the numbering down here, I think that might just be the card number. Uh, okay, so this one is a star, so that's probably a rare. And then a circle is probably like a common or something. Disco Stew, uptight, funkadelic oddball. There's good old Ned Flanders, upstanding, uptight, old zealous. So I'm gonna have to look up like, how would you play this game? Is it like a trump card, like war kind of deal? Snowball, <laughs> Wendell. Don't shake the seat like that. Let's see, we got the actual church. Springfield Church is a character. It's got a little bit more complete trash, four and six. Other scenes can't be trash. That's so kind of like a global effect kind of card. That's interesting. The leftorium for the left-handed people of Springfield. That's great. If this scene is completed or trashed, reverse the direction of play. I got like a Uno thing going on here. All right, this is great. So uh, let me know down below if you've ever played this game. It was it any fun? Uh, obviously, I don't think I don't, I don't think it went any further than one series back about this time. Um, check the rules. This card is one of the more popular in the set. They call it a common. That's that's right. I need this card. Trading card games for dopes. Use any time. Flip over the top three cards of your deck. Play any characters flipped over on a single scene and discard the rest. They don't count against the two character per turn limit. Wow. So definitely some kind of like rules. Oh, we got a misprint here. Got the uh, no no no. This is it's supposed to be like that. It's like literally called misalignment. That's funny. This is what happens when you take the lowest printing bid. That's funny. It's probably like a, uh, inside joke at Watsy even. That's great. Use care. Use during your turn. All characters move one scene to the left. So, okay. So you might've thrown down scenes and then you would play characters on it. And then these kind of like action cards would do something. So that's kind of neat. Who shot Mr. Burns? No characters match this scene. The player who trashes this scene gets one extra point and takes an extra turn after this one. So completing and trashing gives you like points or something. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get into this. Now I'm excited about this. Foils. I'm going to get like a good foil here. Let's see. We got Poochie as a foil. That's great. So that's a star rare foil, I guess. I'm not sure. He's an oddball idiot cartoon animal. Got Captain McAllister, the old fisherman guy. Bitter old fat idiot. <laughs> that's great. Marvin Monroe. Man, I, I don't th you don't see him too much. He was like in the very first season, the very first episode, in fact. I'm not sure if they use him very much in the show. Uptight fat celebrity doctor. Sideshow Mel, the replacement for Sideshow Bob. It's a lackey. Let's see, we got the Krusty Burger scene. We got the comic book guy. Someone who I can relate to. That's 12 Krusty Kitty meals and a Diet Cola. So you can do that voice. And be sure not to get grease on the toys. I want the packages in mint condition. I would, I'm a shoo-in for this game. I really am. If this scene is completed or trashed, the player who played it draws three cards. Yeah. 
fat family idiot. That's like me anyway. Krusty's Clown College. Fat idiot oddball. When this scene is played, move all oddball characters on other scenes to this one. Share why not? Action card, share the wealth. Use when another player completes a scene and you don't get any points. You get one point. Oh, okay, good way to get points. Knock down a peg. Come from behind. Use during your turn if you have fewer points than each other player. Take an extra turn after this one. That's probably pretty good. Got a wipeout. And a fat Tony D'Amico. So that's a like a rare um, in the back slot there. So I, don't, I didn't catch if the first one had that. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what the rarity would do in this in this set. Just fun. Oh man, <laughs> they just fly out in true Simpsons pa fashion. We got like they got a ton of characters in this in this property, which is, really lends itself to a game. So Bumblebee Man is just a common. So we did not get a foil in this pack, I guess. Jasper, the Lunch Lady Doris. Snowball 2 again. Let's see where we got. Barney's Bolarama. The player who completes this scene may choose one character in his or her discard pile and either return it to his or her hand or play it on another scene. It doesn't count against the two character per turn limit. You can use six for completing it, four if you trash it. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to actually read. I don't know how to read. Krusty Lou Studios. If this scene is completed using Krusty, the player who played the scene gets one extra point. All right, so you kind of want to try to play particular characters on it. I guess that would make sense, too. You want to play a celebrity or a kid on the Itchy and Scratchy store. Okay. kind of It's kind of coming together. These remind me a little bit of, like, uh, the contraptions, I think they are, in the unstable uh, set. You just, like, play other cards on top of them. Take a peek. Use it at the start of another player's turn. Look at that player's hand and play any characters in it on any scenes you choose. They don't count against the two character per turn limit. Seems pretty overpowered. The taste of victory. Move all characters that match your scene to it. Get Krusty again. And a dancing Homer. So we got a rare fat celebrity family idiot. He's the guy. All right, a couple more packs of these. Oh man, no, another, didn't get another foil there. Bumblebee Man again, the hands mole man. <laughs> He's old, old, old oddball. So you get like a triple old if you can play him on something. Ned Flanders, Sideshow Mill, the Krusty Burger again, the Noiseland Video Arcade. If this scene is completed, all characters on other scenes that match the scenes they're on are discarded from play. Hmm, interesting. So you could play a character that doesn't match a scene onto a scene, maybe. Krusty Burns has a meltdown. Use during your turn. All scenes and characters are discarded from play. Lisa does bonus play. Use any time you draw three cards. It's like a Pokemon action there. Star power. And then we got Itchy and Scratchy. That's a, that, that looks like a, a good rare card. Oddball, celebrity, cartoon, animal. All right, one more pack. Let's get another foil here. Nope, no foil. Cletus, lazy, slack-jawed, yokel idiot. Marvin Mojo, the helper monkey. He's upstanding, lazy, family animal. It's really funny. The squeaky teeth, teen, voice teen. All right. I have the address, 742 Evergreen Terrace. Is that where they live? I never knew that. Player who completes this scene gets one extra point. Krusty Lou, the Leftorium. Losers pay. Use it at the start of another player's turn. Choose a trait. Characters with that trait can't be played this turn. Ah, interesting. Same as it ever was. Use during your turn. Return a character in your discard pile of your hand. And back to square one. Use when a character is played to a scene. It matches all characters that match the scenes. They're on our disc discard for play, and then we got a Poochie. So there we go. The Simpsons trading card game from 2003. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it was kind of fun. 
to open. I'm going to keep my, uh, my box sealed for that way down in the future when maybe it goes up 10 bucks. Um, we'll see how it goes. So <clears throat> thanks for watching as always. And, uh, stay cool.